Do you wish you could change outlets and switches in your kitchen, such as these switches here? You got this outlet here, which is really a receptacle, and these two switches here. We're going to change these out for the white ones down below with a new cover plate. If you pay attention to the cover plate, you'll know there's a certain orientation here where there's the receptacle on the left, switch, switch, or obviously it can be reversed. So whenever you have your outlet box and the wiring and stuff like that, you want to make sure you know which devices you're using and which orientation everything is. In order to change out your outlets and switches, of course, you need to have the electrical power off, especially if you're a rookie. And you'll want to go to some place like Home Depot or Lowe's and buy a power tester like this. And you'll want to be taking this tester here and plugging it in to the receptacle here. And you'll see two amber lights, which is indicating that it's correctly wired. Now we're going to go out to the electrical panel and use this and identify which circuit breaker it is. We'll want to take our electrical tester here and turn that to the on position. Okay, you'll see this thing beeping green. And then, of course, we, we know that the AC ones are not going to make it shine red. But well, we're going to go down here, and we're going to see. Maybe that's the one, okay? Which is right. You can see that the amber lights are now off, right? So there is nothing glowing. So we definitely got the right circuit. We'll go around to every switch here, both the bottom and top terminal, and touch it to a source of ground. Obviously, you could use this, or you could use the ground terminal on the side here. But just confirm that basically there's no power. So I want to first start off with loosening up the screw terminals on each device. So of course, I am loosening this one up here. I'm loosening the bottom one here. And then I want to go ahead and separate the wire off of each screw terminal. Now, if you're a new homeowner, this is the first time that you've been working on your own switches and stuff like that. I would suggest that you take out the old device here, this almond device or ivory, and then go ahead and put in your new device. And that way you don't get it mixed up where, which wire goes where. I know that this one here is the power wire that the power comes in, and this is where the power goes out to the light itself. And then you can move on to the next switch to do the same thing. It may be a little bit more difficult to work with because you have a bunch of devices all in the same amount of space, but uh, since most people, I guess, would get things confused if they're not, you know, crazy familiar with all of this stuff. And so, I'm just going to move on to the second device here so you get a better view of everything. Oops. Now you can really get a better view of the side of the receptacle here. The right side, which has got the brass screws, is the hot side. Of course, you see the black wire, right? And on the neutral side here, you'll see silver screws here and the white wires. If it's any different, if it's wired any different, then somebody got that one wrong. You can also tell the hot side by the small slot here, and the neutral side by the longer slot here. You can see the screw terminal for the ground is right down here. So I typically will leave the ground wire on as long as possible until I get off all of the other things here that are more dangerous, obviously, than the ground. Now these wires here should be wrapped around clockwise, right? So of course, if this was the clock face, you know, one, two, three, four, right? Clockwise. Everything is clockwise when you put wires on the correct direction. So I'm using my flat tip to spread out the wires and that way I can basically unhook it from the screw terminal. Now that we have the old devices out, we're going to go ahead and put in the new devices. One receptacle here and then two switches. So start by wiring everything in the order that you took it off or the reverse order. I'm going to start here with the ground wire, get it hooked around this ground screw. Make sure it's kind of locked in there into that little tab and you can kind of twist it like this and then it will be, you know, of course, clockwise and tight. And then we can go ahead and go back with the neutral wires, which is the grounded, not grounding conductor.
And now we can work on putting the hot wire back on, okay? So I have one continuous wire here going to feed the first screw terminal, a second loop here for the second screw terminal, and a third loop here for the third screw terminal on the switch device that's at the very end. So go ahead and loop it on there. Okay, and now we can work on the second. This switch here has a couple of grooves where I can get it kind of stuck into, so that way maybe it won't uh, want to come loose here as I tighten it down. Now for the, the sec third device, which is the second switch here, go ahead and take this wire here. I kind of like to pre-bend it with my fingers, three fingers in between, and then I'm going to put on this third device here. You can see here the wire is counterclockwise and then we're just going to tighten it up. Okay, you can kind of see all three devices here pretty well. I'm going to have to get them closer to the wall here so I can hook up these switch legs here. This is a good time here before you're totally finished to make sure your wires are all tucked out of the way so when you push the devices in, you're not you know, smashing stuff or getting this bare copper wire here touching any of the hot wires here or the switch leg. All right, it's probably about as good as it's gonna get. Now you can see here with the switches here, we have one terminal left that goes directly to the switch leg wire here. And then those, this switch leg wire goes directly up to the light fixture. I'm trying to make this so you can see everything. Okay, so we got that wire hooked on there clockwise. Now we can go ahead and get this last wire hooked on here clockwise. Okay, here we go. Tighten that up. Okay. Oh. I know what I forgot to do so far. I meant to connect the ground wire. And don't forget to reconnect the ground wire on the green screw and terminal at each switch in the receptacle. So if you have a tile backsplash here, of course the thickness of the wall is gonna increase more and these factory screws are most likely not gonna do the job for. We just have a quarter inch tile backsplash here. So you'll need to pick yourself up either a small bag of screws that are long enough, or in this case here, I have an electrician's machine screw kit here. This is well worth it if you're doing the whole house and that way you don't have to worry about having the right length of screw. I have pulled out every single screw here on these three devices here. And typically, of course, I will unscrew the short screw that they give you and save the little plastic or cardboard tab so I can later use that for the new screw that I'm going to be installing here. If I could just get the box open, I think it's childproof. Oh, there's the two tabs. <laughs> so you can see here that this is the factory screw here. This is a little bit longer screw. If it works for you, hey, great. But I'm gonna go ahead and step up to the next size here, which is about a half an inch longer. So I, since I wanna keep these plastic tabs here or the cardboard tabs, I'm gonna take this screw poke it through to the tab there, and it basically keeps the screw in place. Don't have to worry about that falling all over the place as I go. You can either screw in this thing here by hand, a screwdriver, or basically with the cardboard plastic, you can just force your way through it. And you see there, now it's held on in place. 
So I don't have to worry about it going anywhere. Do that again here for the bottom and then the rest of the devices. It always helps to sort of get the screw started before you try to force it through the rest of that plastic or cardboard. There we go. Okay. Now, is there one more tab hiding somewhere? Fortunately for me, I have saved all the others, so I have the uh, extra tabs. Place that white or blue plastic tab there behind the screw spot in the switch there. Get the screw started at least a couple of three, four turns, and then you can basically force the screw right through it, and then that way all of the screws are held into place there. So you're doing this for all the devices. Now, go ahead and line up the screws with the whole screw hole in the box. Get each screw started. Don't worry about screwing every device down in place right now. Sometimes the towel guys put stuff in the way. Got the three bottom screws started here. Get these a little bit tweaked in case they're a little bit basically not flat with the wall. Get them so they're lined up. That screw lined up with that hole. And of course, you know, with that box being mounted to the stud over here, the box is going to want to flex, you know, basically in and out. So I'm gonna work on the one furthest away from the stud here. And then we can work on the next screw. So we want these uh, switches and receptacles here to be basically tight to the wall, enough to keep everything, uh, basically the box, you know, sucked up to the wall and switched to the wall here. But still, it helps to have a teeny bit of wiggle room. So if you can back off, if you can make it tight and then back off maybe like a 32nd of an inch, like a one of the threads here, then uh, that'll allow you to line it up with the cover plate screw holes and the device holes here. We can go ahead and take our cover plate out of the bag here, place it over the top here, give it a little bit of a wiggle here and you can see that it basically pops on and lines right up. Next we are going to take the little switch plate cover screws that is provided with the same color as the cover plate itself. I have a smaller flat tip screwdriver here that I'm gonna go ahead and put each screw in place. And then go ahead and put your cover plate screws in.